Welcome to Highline BI 348 class video number 20. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, BI 348 Chapter 2 Start or the Finish File, click on the link below the video. Hey, I just have a quick video here. I want to talk about histograms and the skew of the histograms. So here, this is the histogram and cumulative percent chart we made last video. And we could see that there's a certain shape to this histogram. Lots of counts in the early categories where the revenue was smaller, much fewer counts as we go out towards our larger revenue categories. And as we look through for retail or wholesale, we can see slightly different shapes. Now I want to go over to the sheet skew and just briefly talk about different skews in our histograms or our data. Now I have this sheet randomized, so if you hit the F9 key, you can see that the data is changing. Now, this sort of histogram with a skew to the left is called negative. There's a few small values, F9, F9, but the larger frequencies are always on the right. This is called skew to the left or negative. Right here, this is housing data. And if I hit the F9 key, you can see the tallest columns always seem to be on the left, but there's a few houses with large prices up on the right, F9, F9. This would be called skew to the right or positive. Now when I say negative and positive, that's in relation to calculating the mean. You can imagine when you're adding them all up and dividing by the count, if there's a few really small values in the numerator, then it will tend to pull the mean down. For our housing prices, if there's a few really expensive houses in the numerator, then it will tend to pull the mean up. Positive, negative. Now our example for retail, which we did from our website sales data, here's one from department store. If I hit F9, clearly most of the customers are buying in the small dollar amounts, not in the large dollar amounts. This would be skewed to the right meaning there's a few big values pulling the mean up. We can also up here have nearly symmetrical data. This is human height. So if I hit F9, F9, you can see the tallest column always tends to be right here. And then it kind of tails off in both directions. And down here, this is a skew where we have bimodal. It means there's like a tall column right over here and a tall column in a completely separate area if I hit F9. All right, so there's skew to the left or negative, skew to the right or positive, near symmetrical, and then other types of distributions like bimodal. All right, when we come back in our next video, we'll actually talk about mean, median, and mode. And median will be the preferred average calculation when you have a lot of skew in a particular direction. All right, we'll see you next video.